Alright, hi everyone. We are back. I uh, hope you enjoyed all that footage from the Grand Prix. It was uh, pretty fun. My uh, work was basically a vendor there, so I got to go there for free and uh, get all that footage. It was really cool. Uh, anyways, we're going to be working on swapping out some things from the uh, old engine to the new engine, and then working on getting the new engine on here. I don't think we're going to be able to get that done today, but um, basically what we need to do is uh, disconnect the transmission here from the engine. We need to transfer some of the accessories uh, to the new engine. So the AC condenser right here, the power steering pump, and some of miscellaneous bolts and tensioners um, onto the new engine so we can uh, place it on there. Um, one thing we didn't show in the last video is we did actually have to cut a wire here from the engine harness. It's only about four wires and we know which ones they are. Uh, from the harness, so we're going to be uh, re-terminating those. Um, so I guess our plan of attack here, uh, we're going to um, go ahead and remove uh, the accessories that we can and put it on the new engine here and uh, get things swapped over. We did also completely reorganize our garage so we have a lot more room to work with, so uh, that will help out tremendously. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with this, uh, with taking off uh, some of these accessories. Also, we have to get the oil pan off of this thing and this oil filter extension right there because the one that goes vertically down is going to hit the uh, steering arm there and subframe so uh, we're gonna get started working on that so i'm just going to be taking this ac condenser off here it actually looks like there's quite a bit of stuff here so all these hard lines that go into the condenser uh, which we actually have sat over there um they come up from here uh, there's just a couple bolts that hold this on and it's a pulley that doesn't sound so great but we want to be able to retain this AC uh, for the summer because it gets pretty hot. <clears throat> How hot is it, Isaiah? As it, so, actually, we're going to be doing a cool video with his uh, Infinity uh, probably next week or the week after that. Um, basically, his AC <clears throat> condenser is dead. And, uh, well, it's not the AC condenser is dead. Basically, what happened is that the fan clutch for the AC condenser died. But typically when you are just changing it out, it's almost, you might as well just change up the condenser and everything together all in one. So that should be a pretty easy video. Should be able to get it done like within about a day. And then uh, I already have it discharged, so it's going to be a little bit easier of a process to get it all put back together. And uh, I have uh, Zoe's uh, freestyle over there. 
we actually did uh, an AC flush on that with the vacuum pump and just put a new refrigerant in it, so I know how to do that. So uh, we're going to be doing that with his. So we're going to also show you how to um, recharge your AC system. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a very, it's like a two for video, basically. I didn't have AC for two years. I've now officially... I didn't have AC your for... Car is, your car is the worst for it, too, because you have all those w untinted windows. Yeah. There's like so much volume inside the car, it gets so hot so easily. You went two summers like that. I did, and I didn't have any in my Malibu either, so. Okay. We all, we all now own shit boxes on wheels. Yep. AC don't work, you got dents and scratches, it's a shit box. My AC has always worked. Like yeah, I was just about to say, the AC always worked, even in the Ranger, it yep. worked. I know, so the Ranger's not a shit, the Ranger was never a shit box. Dave? I just drive an import ship box now. Davis has always had the non ship box. He do, he doesn't know the struggle. Yep. See, I own one ship box, and it's not my '96 Ford Explorer because the AC actually works in it. That thing comfy. Look look at the Explorer. It's so beautiful. And they're both just as dirty. I'm a great car owner. I don't know. I, I don't really know the last time I washed my car. Oh my God. It's been over a year since you washed your car? Your car. Oh, yeah, my car. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's, that's about that's, the same for my Explorer. That's about right. Yeah, so so we're telling uh, everyone, and we're coming out with AC videos <laughs> at the end of summer. Yeah, at the end of summer, it's great timing. We're just that. we're just prepping for next year because of uh, honestly doing it this year. You know, it was windows down the entire time. You'll have content. You'll be ready. Yeah. For summer. We're just prepping a year in advance. It's fine. Also, yeah. uh, actually prepping for winter. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video on how to install heated seats inside your seat basically yeah there's a uh, very cheap options on ebay and amazon for sections that go inside your seats and i'm going to show you how to wire it up and uh, do all that because we did that on zoe's car and yeah uh, the driver's side and it works very well i have a really see we're just trying to make all your cars like comfy see here's the thing is it's like we we've customized the swagon yep So there's three bolts up front, and then right there where I'm pointing, I think that might be holding it on. Okay. Yep, down right there. No, no, that's the part of the whole thing. Damn, where is this connected to? So right where that hole is, that is where the last bolt was. This little guy was going right in there. You can see kind of where it was. It's kind of hard to get to. It's like through the exhaust here on that side. So that is uh, where that was. There's some battery cables that route around these tubes, but uh, we're just going to have to kind of Jenga it out basically. So here it is coming out. I'll probably have to move the bracket from this one over to the new engine too. But pretty much easy as that. There's it. There it is. Yeah, I'm betting we're probably going to have to take the bracket. Nothing on that engine to hold it on, basically. So we're going to start working on that. So this uh, pulley uh, tensioner bit, that's a bracket that holds AC in. So I'm going to this one bullet down there. It's 10 mil. And then there's two, I think these are 15, 13 mils right here. Is that in frame? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So we're going to be transferring this to the other engine. Uh, we should definitely clean it out because it's dirty. Yeah. Stuff. Oof. And then there's this back one, which is holding on part of the engine harness there. See where that is? That's like a big engine ground. Let me go ahead and see if I can get that off there. Good no. no. <clears throat> I 
It's got a nut on it that needs to be held straight. So what size we need here? No. Nut. That's what happens when Isaiah hears like nut. I'm gonna take this nut off, bust it off. Tough nut. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I broke it, which is good. Feels like the nuts loose enough to take off by hand. You but these it's, nuts? it's not sometimes. You mean these nuts? So you gotta get your tool back on the nut. Yeah, and then you gotta work on that nut. Yeah. Davis gives all the ex all the knowledge of Nothing. how to nut. How to properly. Nut. How to how to properly. How to effectively nut. Yeah. Oh my god. I am a, a tardy boy. All right, now that that. Engine grounds off. Gonna take off that nut and take this bracket off and oh. put it on that boy. Put on this boy. Yeah. I am full. Why do you bolts. keep on dropping? I stuff? didn't know that there was three bolts in it. I'm I'm what you call special, but not in the good way. He laughs if you say the word nut. I do because it's funny. It's what I call an allergic reaction. Zoe just cringed hardcore, so that was funny. All right, so we got that bracket off. Um, I'm just trying to see where that goes on, even. Yeah, I can see it. So we definitely want to clean these off, but basically how this goes, is this guy goes in here. And then this guy. You put the hole, the bolt in the wrong hole, as it goes in. There. I'm sorry, it fell out. And then that guy goes over here, somehow, however that is. I think right back there. I think it's because we still have to remove that. Yeah. Yeah, because that doesn't <laughs> doesn't even touch, so we wouldn't even be able to use this, honestly. Mm -hmm. But it goes basically like that. Still need to clean those. But as you can see, we have the AC completely off. No more of that. Now we need to start working on the power steering here. Power steering is a lot more like tight room here. Uh, so it might be a bit harder, but uh, we're gonna start working on that. I need you to explain the chemicals that were that you guys just used. That you guys so call cancer in a bottle. So we call this cancer in a bottle because it works very well. Okay. But also it smells like crap and it feels like uh, you know your lungs are slowly dying while you're using it, even mm -hmm. when you do have a particle mask on. I was over there for a second and yeah. I felt like I was gonna die. Yeah, it's really bad. But anyway, it works really good. I'm getting all of our parts cleaned. I've used it on my Explorer. I've used it on the Infinity too. It all works pretty good with like cleaning up oil messes and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Especially on plastic panels as well. Like, like on my Infinity, they basically, when you remove the oil filter, <clears throat> the oil literally falls onto a plastic cover and then it drips out on two sides. It's a really bad design unless like you have it on like the exact lift position that they per that they want you to do it at. Mm -hmm. So I use this every single time I'm cleaning it. Also with my Explorer, unfortunately, with where the oil filter is located at and how big it is, it's one of the biggest oil filters you can get. It's a whenever, you're, whenever you're taking it down, a lot of the oil just falls onto the exhaust. Awesome. So like in order for it to not smell like crap every single time I start it up after an oil change, I just clean it with this and then I hose it off with water and then usually that gets rid of nice. any kind of smoke or smell that's gonna be coming off of it. Also, it's to prevent my exhaust from catching on fire and then the car from catching on fire too. So, great product, I recommend it. Just great product. Wear, wear a mask 
and wear glasses if you're under the car using it. You can see this oil filter extension. I got three of the bolts out. This is the last one. This is what, this is what needs to be swapped over to the engine over there. So it's probably gonna leak a bunch of oil when I pull this off. I rate that as like a two. I was gonna say like no more than a three, so you're right. But same with uh, this part, we're gonna have to power wash this too because this is grimy and gross. I'm actually not sure what this is because this wasn't on our uh, oil filter bit. This is. Seems like a, just like an oil pressure sensor. Maybe. Yeah, so we'll drain this uh, as much as we can then cover it and- Look at all that. Wash it. All that oil. I mean, we can always just put a bolt in it, too, and call it good. A bolt? Yeah, just, you can take the sensor out, and then we could just put in a bolt. Oh, no, I'm fine with that. Like, it'll, it'll be fine, I think. Yeah, I must sense oil pressure in or something, because there's a... Did it where the oil goes to? Yeah, so we're going to need to clean this off, definitely. Do you guys feel like every week that you're inhaling fumes that like you shouldn't be or like it's good for you it's good for you yeah right Isaiah what what <laughs> alright so uh, we're going to clean this up and then uh, get started on the power steering so <laughs> 